as a radio DJ, but it's as a hypnotist that he's made his name, promising to help make people happy, rich, healthy and confident. And he's trying to help people lose weight and he has a third book on the subject in which he explores our feelings and how they're linked to eating too much. And uh, Paul McKenna joins us now. Very good morning to you. Good morning. It's, um, it's a very big issue, and especially after Christmas, yes. of course. But have you ever had an issue with weight and overeating? No, I mean, I grew up in an overweight family, but, you know, I'm quite a cantankerous person. So when my mother would say, come on, eat up, there's starving children in some part of the world, I would say, well, does me eating that extra food help them? And she would say, don't be like that. And I'd say, I'm born like that. But I did um, spend a lot of time, actually. In fact, I've spent probably the last 20 years working with people uh, with weight issues. It's my favourite of all the subjects um, that I work with people. I feel really quite passionate about it. So I think I've made a significant breakthrough. My approach is very different to what everyone else is doing. You know, everyone else is doing diets. They're saying, don't eat this, eat that. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm taking an internal approach. I'm saying all your decisions about food, about what you eat, when you eat, how much you eat, take place in your mind. Your mind's like a computer. I can help you reprogram your mind so that you can eat less, um, not feel like you're missing out, and move your body D more. Didn't you, but didn't you make the same points in the previous two books that you, you had about losing weight? Well, do you know, um, uh, no is the answer. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, there are definitely, there's, there are, there's a couple of things I've re reiterated. The other two books are very much dealing with the symptoms. The first book, I Can Make You Thin, is about uh, changing a few behaviours and there's some hypnosis. Mm -hmm. The second book is The Hypnotic Gastric Band, which hypnotises you to, so you know you haven't had the operation, but your unconscious mind and your body responds as though you have. I mean, it's really quite remarkable. You, you just don't eat as much, you don't feel like you're missing out. This is going at the root of the problem. Um, for the last um, decade I've been working with a neuroscientist uh, uh, on what is a fantastic what we call psychosensory therapy and this um, it, you know is really to help people with emotional overwhelm. So we've been working with very extreme cases, war veterans, rape victims, bereavement cases with astounding results often in one session and I thought look if I can help people um, you know who've gone through um, extreme emotional um, uh, turmoil then I think I can help people who are emotional eaters because emotional eaters are often people who've been through a difficult time or maybe uh, you know when they get home at night they're stressed and they want to right. reward themselves with some chocolate do that you, sort of thing do you know do you have any way of recording how successful your books are or mm. generally self-help books are because there's an awful lot of them about mm. but but there's no way really of knowing what how, how much weight people reading on books will lose well actually with the with regard to the um, you know the new technique I, I just referred to which is you know a large part of this book we have just um, done an initial study with one of the universities in London and what was really amazing is that uh, seven in ten people um, you know who have many of them have suffered extreme trauma from one session after six months have have, have had a significant improvement yeah. um, uh, but what we find is we, we used to do studies when I first started writing and it always came out the same seven in ten now when you can <laughs> Consider a diet is one in ten, their mm. success rate. You know, I'm, I'm happy with the seven in ten because I don't know anything that works every single time for everyone. Mm. So, um, you know, I bet if we actually put this through, I mean, we've, I, 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 if I need to, I'll put it through a study. But I know that the success rate is often, you know, reflected in the number of people that are buying them. But as you say, the, the self-help books, self-help apps, you know, I've just made some apps as well that go along with this, <laughs> are, are now They're become... They're massive business, aren't they? And yeah. I'm sure there are dietitians out there, nutritionists, people involved in the science mm. who would just be saying what does work is you eat less and you move more. Well, that's that right. That costs nothing. Well, do you know, you're right. The only way, the only way to lose weight is eat less and move your body more. But the way we're going about it through, say, dieting, starving ourselves is actually the worst way. In fact... But eat less doesn't mean starving yourself, does it? Well, it in many means... diets it does. Um, and also... Um, uh, yeah, because they're not telling people to eat when they're truly hungry. They're not, they're not, they're not helping them to recognise the difference between emotional hunger and real physical hunger. They're not teaching them to, you know, because many people are just eating on their feelings. And this is why 91% of dieters fail. And now 70% of people who go on a diet actually end up more overweight when they come off the diet than before they went on it. This is why there's an <coughs> army of doctors who now hate diets. Aren't self-help books a bit like 
buying a lottery ticket, you feel great when you buy it. I mean, whenever, I always feel better just looking at yourself like books in a bookstore. Because if I buy it, I never actually read it. I'll take it. I must get around to that one day. It's, it's the Do same. You know, as, I, I think you're right. Your I, I, I think actually there's a large proportion of people who don't finish a self help book. And as you say, they feel better when they bought it. However, do you buy self help books? Oh, sure. You know, what well, sort of books do you well, buy? Do you know, actually, well, I usually buy my competitor. Well, I suppose I don't really consider anyone to be a competitor, really, but I buy other people's. <laughs> or if I get, see what happened was a few years ago, I looked at the, the, the self help books uh, would, were so popular, and I thought, um, everyone's just rehashing what everyone else is saying. And I thought, I've got a few things to say. So I, I wrote my first self help book, um, Change Your Life in Seven Days, and it became this, you know, it's an international bestseller. You're on a roll. Yeah, millions of copies. Why wouldn't you continue? And, well, I thought maybe, you know, because I, I, I'd always thought of myself as a talker rather than a writer. Mm. And so um, I, I genuinely only write about things that I feel I know about, that I have something to say about. Because I don't need to write, and I don't need to write another book. I don't need to, to do another thing in my life if I don't want to. But I actually love doing this. Mm. Um, I particularly am passionate but about. But do you buy self help book, uh, self help books because you're interested in what, as you say, the competitive competition is doing, yeah. or do you buy them because sometimes you need a bit of help? Do you know sometimes if I see a book and I think, oh, that's probably got you know one or two really good ideas, and I'll see, I mean, and I find you know occasionally that that, that they do have. I, I mean, there's no doubt that the that the, the, the growth in the area of self-help books is is just it's gone exponential, mm. and that can only be because people are getting something yeah. from it. But I'm wondering mm. if you yourself, mm. you, you know, you help other people, but do you yeah. have oh. those emotional needs as well that you oh. feel a book can fulfil? Well, do you know? Um, actually, I'm very good at fixing, I think r rather good at fixing other people's problems, but not very good at fixing my own. So you I can actually... help me with that. You can help me with that. <laughs> I usually ring up someone else and say, I'm being really stuck with this, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it this way or that way, or have you got a technique for this? You know, you so see, that's right. the thing, the yeah. good old phone and having yeah. a conversation, that's what helps. I have to leave you there. Okay. Cool. Good to see you. Yeah, lovely. Lovely, lovely to see, to see you. Thanks very much. Paul McKenna's book is Freedom from Emotional Eating and it's available now. now